Welcome, FNUSA57 here. Once again, I'm back online on the Xbox, and we are playing some Redfall. Today I will be showing you how to get all 100 of the Grave Locks collectible locations, which will also get you the 35 Gamer Score Faith Healer achievement, which is currently the rarest achievement in the game. This will have all locations for both Map 1 and Map 2, and I will be going in zone or neighborhood order. So uh, we'll rotate around the center point of the map in a clockwise fashion. Check the video description for timestamps for each neighborhood. Also, huge shout out right here to ILAP the Flash for helping me out with this video. We have spent, I don't even want to know at this point, probably like, uh, I'm going to say at least 50 hours plus working on bringing you all of these locations so definitely consider dropping a like on the video if you found it helpful and sharing it with your friends without further ado we'll be starting on map one with the neighborhood heritage rock for our very first collectible you're going to look right here on the map where i'm at don't worry if you have a fast travel location here or not you can pick these up in pretty much any order you would like and the closest fast travel point is going to be stormy point if you make your way to the sea, you will notice this boat, this small yacht right here. And this is one of the hardest ones, in my opinion, because you kind of have to do a little janky parkour spam jump to get up on top of the boat and then make sure that you end up on the top side of this little yacht. And right here on the ground next to the crab trap is your very first grave lock. The second grave lock is going to be located right here on the map in this junkyard in the building RS Iron and Metal Co. If you do not have the teleportation disc, you're going to need to go around to the back of the building where you find this stack of pallets and then kind of a little bit of a sprint jump up onto the first roof, the second roof. And then when you come to this little third roof, just jump straight down and in the corner is your grave lock. The next collectible is going to be right next to the Heritage Rock safe house fast travel. Come to this large building, the shipper services building, find the trailer out front, climb up, climb up to the first roof. You'll find a ladder on the left climb that ladder and on top of the roof in the center of this circular paint will be your grave lock. For our next collectible you'll be looking for this tiny little circle on the map where I'm standing next to the Heritage Rock Lighthouse. The closest fast travel point is the Heritage Rock Safe House. Follow the dirt path up until you reach this green bus Pretty much go straight to the scenic overview binoculars and then slowly proceed towards the edge of the cliff and slide down to locate and pick up your grave lock. For our next two collectibles, you will be looking for the Heritage Rock Lighthouse. If you follow the path up from the previous collectible, you'll end up right outside of this museum. What you're going to do is we're going to go to the right side of this museum and follow this path around till we reach a cave. I should note, for some reason, we are not encountering any enemies in this video. So, yeah, you will probably have more enemies than we do. Anyways, once you find this cave, come in here and go to the right-hand side. On top of this storage trunk will be your grave lock. From the collectible we just picked up, if you still need the one in the lighthouse and are following along with this video, there is a orange ladder right here, it can be hard to spot at night, that you can climb, which will bring you up right in front of the lighthouse. You must climb all the way to the very top of the lighthouse, I will meet you there. Congratulations, if you're not dizzy from 60 seconds of running in circles going up the lighthouse, when you finally make it to the top, proceed out the doorway, turn and go all the way around to the back of the top of the lighthouse where you will find your grave lock and you can pick that one up. For our seventh and final grave lock of the Heritage Rock 
neighborhood. It will be out here in kind of the ocean area. And the closest fast travel is the Overlook Point. You can follow the coastline till you find this giant rock cluster. And it looks like you can't climb it. You can, but it's a little janky. You really have to just spam, sprint, jump, and uh, eventually kind of get up this right side. Once you get to about here, then you can just sprint all the way to the top. And at the very top where Flash is standing is our grave lock. Pick it up and you should have seven of 100 now. For our first grave lock of the Old Town neighborhood, it will be located at this pier or the set of uh, boat docks here. I believe you'd call them slips and it is directly south from the Overlook fast travel point. Simply come to this set of docks, look for this particular boat right here that's kind of tilted, jump down and you will find the grave lock on the driver's seat. The next grave lock will be right next to this overlook fast travel point. You're looking for this massive green building. It has blue umbrellas out front. Come around to the side, open the first door, open the second door to the kitchen, look to your left, and over here next to the utensils and pans will be your grave lock. For the next several grave locks, we will be using the Old Town Safe House fast travel point as our point of reference. Head directly east to the pier inside this black circle that says Ferry Rendezvous, and you will want to look for this Welcome to Redfall sign. Proceed down to the very end of the white pier here on the left hand side. This one is annoying if you do not have the teleportation disc, so it may take you a couple of tries. You can jump from this very corner. Uh, it's a little touch and go because your character wants to vault over. So you can jump over here and pick up your grave lock. Our next collectible will be just north of the Old Town Safe House, located at the Custom House Museum. If you jump down, come through this set of doors, there's normally red poison, so you'll need to kill the zombie or vampire that has that poison. For me, he was right here. And then make a left into this room, and inside of the filing cabinet will be your grave lock. Our next two grave locks are going to actually be located in the Avium Clinic. So what you'll do is come from the safe house, look for this main clinic building, come around behind it, you'll notice a ladder right next to a dead body, climb the ladder, come up here, jump up onto the main roof of the building, go ahead and get a running start, sprint, and at the very edge of the roof, jump across to this roof, where you will find your grave lock inside of some white painted designs. The next one is actually inside the building, very close to a main mission objective. There's no way you can toss your teleportation disc through a window, right? Ever forward! For our second Avon Clinic objective, the one that can be done during the main mission, it must be done during the main mission. It is technically located in Sedgwick, so we did mess up. It's not Old Town, but it is right on the border. And the reason why I say it must be done during the mission is every single one of these doors in the loading dock area will become barricaded. There is no way for you to get back in here unless you are super ass slick with Dev and can throw the teleportation disc through that window. If you can somehow manage to do that, then you can take the long way around, and I do very much mean the long way around, through all of these little rooms which the main mission will take you through, find this staircase, follow this staircase down, and around to the right where you will find this freight elevator that is out of order, which you can jump up on the boxes, jump up, and then go up the ladder, 
and you will find your grave lock sitting right beneath the power meter can in this corner. I guess. Much easier to do during the main mission than after the fact. For our next two collectibles, we will be moving back to the correct area of Old Town and going to the Overton Theater. There is a mission that will take you to this, so I'm going to start with the hardest collectible, which is over here on the right-hand side of the theater. Take the stairs all the way up to the roof, and then you're going to want to go to those pipes right there. Uh, there is a ladder to my left, or you can hop up on this blue box, go over to the center of these pipes, and pick up your grave lock. For our second grave lock in the Overtron Theater, you will be going behind the main screen during a mission, come down the stairs. The mission objective item will be right here to the right. You will want to go around this yellow sofa, and you can see the grave lock right in front of the raven statue. Okay, so finally we are about to pick up our grave marker here at Dr. Hunt's house. And for this one, you absolutely must not make the mistake that I did and go ahead and complete the mission. Because once you complete the mission, if you do not pick up the grave lock, you will be permanently locked out of it and need to either go to New Game Plus or ask a friend that has not done the mission. When you are doing the main story mission, a grave situation reward, make your way to Dr. Hunt's house as I've shown on the map. The mission objective is in the trunk and your grave lock will be on the shelf just uh, right here on the tool bench, you could say. Right. Our next objective will be just down the street from Dr. Hunt's house. You'll be looking for this two-story building, black on the bottom, blue on the top with a staircase on the right hand side there is a laser tripwire at the top if you have jacob you can simply upgrade your skill to be able to go right through that otherwise disarm it hack it destroy it dealer's choice go inside look to the left and you will see a canvas with a green painting on it and the grave lock on the stool in front just to keep in order we're going to be moving back to sedgwick for our next neighborhood and the grave lock will be right at the bottom of the parking garage next to the Avon Clinic. So navigate to the parking garage and go all the way to the bottom. You will notice that there is a small yellow car with a dead body and the grave lock is on the driver's seat. They would wait outside our train. For our next grave lock, you could put this one in either Sedgwick or old town it is on the dividing line you'll be doing a safe house main um, objective if you do those missions the secondary missions and you can come to this building come up the staircases and then in this corner next to the dead body will be your grave lock for our next two grave locks we will be using the sedgwick safe house as our closest fast travel point Make your way over to the Redfall United Church of Christ. Proceed inside, up the stairs to the left. You'll probably have to clear out multiple vampires. Make another left going through the door to find the church organ. And sitting on the organ is your first grave lock. For our next grave lock, make your way to the United Church of Christ Cemetery. You'll be coming here for one of the very early main missions. Make your way inside this small crypt. The grave lock will be right there on the ground. For our next three grave locks, we will be using the Addison Estate Grounds fast travel marker. The first one is going to be over here to the left from the fast travel marker. You probably won't have a vampire nest here, but it will be in this blue house. Proceed straight in the house, up the stairs, turn to the right, locate the pool table, and that is where your grave lock will be. The next two grave locks will be located inside the Addison Mansion. Make your way in the front door up the first flight of stairs and right in front of you on the right on the books will be your first grave lock. The next one will be upstairs a little bit more. Okay. 
Here's your second grave lock. And that will complete all of the Sedgwick neighborhood. For our next several collectibles, we'll be in Shade Tree Heights, and we will be using our point of reference being the Supper Club. This first one is going to be in the actual Supper Club. If you make your way upstairs to this balcony, and honestly, this jump is kind of a pain in the ass, you want to pretty much aim right about there and then uh, kind of sprint jump, and hopefully your character will grab onto the edge of the roof um, let's hope we don't fall off unfortunately this one's very buggy to pick up and you actually have to crouch to get the prompt to pick it up for the next grave lock proceed behind the supper club down the white boardwalk to this boat, jump over the boat, and just underneath the boardwalk on the stone will be your grave lock. Our next two collectibles will be here at the island crash site. The first one you'll probably get when searching. You'll notice these picnic tables on the left, and the grave lock is sitting right on the top. Their families, their neighbors. For our next grave lock, from the island crash site, you can simply locate the pier, fall down, fall down once more, locate this hole, and be careful to shimmy off the hole, looking for the small rock ledge below you where the grave lock is located. Go ahead and pick that one up. For our next collectible, we will be locating the Knot Cottage, which is going to be on our way to the hillside crash site. Once you locate the cottage, you will want to proceed inside. You can pretty much jump to that window and then you can jump up and on the floor right at your feet will be the grave lock. For our next collectible, it will be kind of halfway up towards the hillside crash site. When you're running up the path and you don't think you can go to the left, go ahead and hop over the wood and make your way over here to the left where hugging the cliff wall you will find yet another grave lock. For our next collectible, make your way all the way up to the crash site. You can see the helicopter right there, hopefully you guys don't have fog. Go to this large rock crossing. And then you'll notice that the grave lock is just right there after a really annoying, like, forced shimmy along this wall with kind of a sprint jump. Let's just say hopefully you have a teleportation disc because this one kind of sucks. Once you're successful, make your way over there and pick up your grave lock. Nice, but not kind. Once again, for our next two... Uh, grave locks we will be using the supper club fast travel and this will be starting the basswood neighborhood if you look right in front of my character's dot basically on the borderline this is where our first objective will be and the second one will be at bill's house so proceed forward past this pickup truck and you will notice the grave lock just sitting here on the rock for our next collectible from the road Simply proceed towards the back of Bill's house. You'll notice a little outdoor grill and some chairs with the grave lock sitting on the table. For our next grave lock, we will be moving up to the Stormy Point Fast Travel. And this one is also right on the border. I do believe there is a story mission that takes you here to this oil change gas station hybrid facility. And there will be a boss you have to kill. If you go down here into the pits, crouch the grave lock will be right here on a shelf for you. No one would believe it. Next collectible, proceed to Dead Catch Records. In the front door, around to the back, and then you'll notice the grave lock on the ground between two cardboard boxes. Did what I did, but made it all. 
Our next collectible is going to be located right next to the Basswood safe house in the Reverend Eva's apartment. Note that I do believe you are forced to get a side mission to come here before the apartment is unlocked. Make your way inside Reverend Eva's apartment, up the stairs, follow the blood trail until you locate this room with a suitcase and the grave lock is in the suitcase. It's in the heart. That's... Our next two grave locks are in fairly close proximity along the dock. So go from the safe house towards these docks. The first one you'll want to go ahead and drop down here. Look for a couple of old traps and the grave lock will be sitting right next to them. The next grave lock will be just a little bit farther down the boardwalk in this small boathouse. Open the door, come in, look to your left, and in a crate on top of the shelf, which more than likely you'll have to jump up on, will be your grave lock. It is right by a sign that says Red's Crab Cakes. For our next two grave locks, make your way to the Golden View Mobile Community. You are looking for this larger um, woodish gray colored mobile home. Make your way in and to the right on the ground will be your first grave lock. Proceed out of that mobile home to the left towards the police car. And then look left at the pink flamingos behind the grill in a cooler will be the second grave lock. For our next grave lock, it's going to be in a very annoying spot, very close to the Overlook fast travel point. You will notice a large wooden ship in dry dock. You need to come up here, jump up on this railing, then aim towards the edge of this ship and kind of try to do a little bit of a sprint jump. Hopefully you get it on your first try and the grave lock will be right here on the back of the boat. For our next grave lock, you'll be looking for the shipyard. You do come here in the mission. Make your way inside to where all the shipping containers are. Hope that you have a teleportation disc. Otherwise, make your way up on top of the shipping containers to approximately this spot on the white one. And do yourself a nice little sprint jump in here to where the pails are and the grave lock is on the ground. For our next collectible, make your way behind the shipyard until you see this large crane, go ahead and jump up on top of the blue container and on top of the wooden crate will be your gray ave lock. For your next grave lock, go ahead and make your way again behind the shipyard up onto this freighter and then you'll need to go underneath the red shipping containers Make your way to the front of the freighter and then try to make your way over to these broken wooden boxes. Make your way up the boxes and onto the blue shipping container where you will then pick up your 44th grave lock. For our 45th and final grave lock, this is technically part of Heritage Rock, so I might have made a bit of a oops by not recording it right away. But it is one that you'll get on a mission more than likely, which is all the way out here at the Tempest ship. So go ahead and make your way to the back left hand side of the ship. Make your way inside and there are a couple large spools that have cable on it. The grave lock is on the ground in the corner. Congratulations, you have unlocked all of the grave locks for map one and we will be heading to map two burial point. Make your way to the statue, and then you're going to need to go all the way to the top. Good shot. At the top, you'll find your very first grave lock. The next grave lock is going to be a little bit more complicated, so I'll explain it now. It will be at the Blackwood House. This will be part of a achievement for the Sisterhood because you will need to locate one of the keys required to open the room that the grave lock is in. To find the grave lock, make your way inside the Blackwood house, go up to the top, and you will be looking for Hester's room. 
once you have Hester's room key, you can open it, go inside, and on the table will be your grave lock. I should note that Hester's room key can be found at the closest location right about here. If you want, there will be a link in the description to the achievement guide for unlocking this particular sisterhood achievement. For our next objective, simply go south from the Windystead marker till you find the Smith Orchard House. Proceed inside and you'll want to locate the basement, which is to the right through this door at the water heater, turn left and you'll see the grave lock sitting on a crate. For our next collectible, it's actually going to be a little annoying, but it'll be underground in the middle of the tunnel heading towards the Blackwood house from the Founders Knoll safe house. Run down the tunnel until on the right hand side you see a dead dude and the grave lock will be basically in his hand. For our next grave lock, go ahead and make your way to the Twin Tree Wellness Center. Proceed inside to the right the right again where the mission safe is and go ahead and take the grave lock that is on top of the safe our next objective i'm going to go ahead and just note from here it's going to be uh, mission locked where you will need miss whisper's key which you get from defeating miss whisper but if you proceed over here towards the left there's two different ways you can go. You can come in from the top or you can go from the bottom, personal preference. Either way, we'll find a door that is locked with the use of Miss Whisper's key. So once you have defeated Miss Whisper in the main story quest, then you will be able to use the key, come in here and go through the file room to where you will find the grave lock in one of the filing cabinets. It is very hard to miss considering the mission ends with you coming to this room right here. For our next collectible, it will be in the Ward's General Store. Make your way from the front of the store to the back of the store on the left-hand side. You'll see a set of stairs that leads up and behind the store. The door is usually one that you will have to lock pick to get through. And then another door that you don't have to lock pick. And the collectible is on the windowsill. For our next two collectibles, one is technically here in Founders Knoll. The other one is technically in Founders Knoll, but not. It's just on the other side of the dividing line. So the first thing you'll want to do is make your way to this parking lot, locate the little guard shack, and locate the cooler on the table. You'll probably have to stand on the table, and then you can pick up the grave lock inside. For our next collectible, it's literally going to be just a matter of jumping over this wall. To this small building open the door come inside look on the shelf display to the left next to some gum you will find your second grave lock for our next seven collectibles we will be going into the chickering neighborhood starting with the clover settle trail marker as soon as you arrive at the trail look towards the giant bloody flat rock with the dead dude and you will see a grave lock right next to him. For our next collectible, it's going to be really close at the Chickering substation. Simply enter the substation and come behind the main building. You will see the grave lock sitting on a board. For our next objective, it'll be very close to the Chickering Veterinary Clinic. You'll be looking for a two-story blue building called Cradle's Trinkets. Proceed in the front door to the staircase, up the staircase to the left, and then you will find the grave lock next to the window on a crate. I wasn't even human. Next collectible is very close to the previous one. You will be looking for this spot on the map with the giant building that says Grocery proceed in the front door it'll have a sign that says general store look to your right and go up the staircase there's a couple of ways to get here 
the easiest way is to simply shoot the trip wires. Caution, they do a lot of damage. And then simply hop over, crouch, and you will notice the grave lock in the back left hand corner next to a fan. Alternatively, you can pick the lock on the door to get in here without taking some damage from the trip wires. For our next objective, you'll locate the Midnight Whale. It's very easy to recognize with the sign on the wall. Proceed in, up the stairs on the right, turn left, turn left again, and next to the writing on the wall on the table will be your grave lock. For our next grave lock, proceed to the Redfall Police Station. From the front of the police station, go in to the staircase, simply go down one floor, and then you will hear the grave lock when you come into like the evidence storage room on the shelf. For our seventh and last grave lock in Chickering, you will proceed to the Chickering Church. The easiest way is to come in from the side and go up the stairs. Make your way into the main hall, go to the stained glass window, and beneath the window on a cloth will be your grave lock. For our next set of four grave locks, we will be in the Winslow Fields neighborhood, and the first one will be located just to the right of the Winslow Fields safe house, pretty much right in this corn beneath a scarecrow next to the flaming barrel on a wooden crate. For our next location, you will want to discover the old bootlegger tunnel, which is pretty much slightly southeast of the safe house. You'll see a white grain silo to the left, and then usually there's a couple of guards here. It's a tunnel with two trip wires and a UV light. You can hack them or just destroy them Upon entering the tunnel, at your first opportunity, break the boards that will be to your right, and then locate the dead body on like a sleeping bag, and you will see the grave lock partially covered in blood. Our next two collectibles are super close together. You're going to be looking for the grain silo and the abandoned barn. For the grain silo, simply walk in, go to the barrel, and pick up the grave lock. Next up, we'll head to the abandoned barn, which is just up the hill, and then pick up our second grave lock for this area. I didn't know. You will have to break a couple of boards to get into the abandoned barn, and then you'll find a dead dude on a couch holding your second grave lock. I thought the key was. For our next three collectibles, we will be in Ashmont Springs and using the Ashmont Springs safe house as our travel point. First up, make your way towards the Irvin family mausoleum. Once you are in the cemetery, locate this small crypt, proceed up the stairs, and the grave lock will be on the pillow on top of the sleeping bed. For our next two collectibles, they will be very close together here at the residence. The first place that you'll notice is the statue outside. Go up to it, look down, and the grave lock will be there. The second one is going to be actually inside the building. From the statue, simply make your way into the destroyed section of the building, through the dining room, to this small little red room with a pod and the grav lock. I don't know what they did. Whatever. We're just going to call it a grav lock. Yeah. It's on the pod. For our next four collectibles, we will be in Howl's Neck. The very first one is right on where I'm standing here at the building that has the giant laundry mat sign in the front. Go to the front, jump up on the truck. Go up to the top of the roof, go behind the main steeple, and you'll notice the grave lock right there. The next collectible, it is literally going to be on the building of the Howl's Neck safe house. You want to come around to one of the red canopies, jump up on that to get to the first level, jump up on the next red canopy. Just keep climbing until you get to this main patio eating area where you will find your gra grave lock 
For our next two collectibles in Hal's Neck, we will be going to King's Square. The first one is located underneath Yankee Food. Locate the building with Yankee Food on it. Simply come in, go to the back, turn to your right, go down the stairs. There's a dead body and an open door in a tunnel. The gra grave lock will be right there. For our last grave lock in Hal's Neck, if you are facing the Ferris wheel, there's this nice little building here with stairs there on the right. Simply go in through the second story, turn to the right, open the restroom, and the grave lock is located right next to the sink. The first to die. For our next seven collectibles, we will be in Haven's Lot, starting off with probably the easiest and one of the last ones I found, which is at the New Light Village marker. Uh, simply from this marker, look towards the bridge, and if there isn't a vampire nest gate there, nest. you can pretty easily see that the grave lock is right here next to a skull and red candles. I never left. For our next three grave locks, they're going to be very, very close together. On this small green section of Haven's Lot, right where you can see us moving around, we're going to get three super quickly. There's going to be one right where Flash is, one halfway between us, and one at the Meteorological Annex. The first one, you can simply come around the back of these rocks, and it doesn't look like you'd be able to climb up here easily. You can't really climb up easily, but you can, in fact, climb up these rocks. And Okay, there we go. Those grave rocks are such a pain in the butt, but these things are, like, so slippery. Anyways, spam jump. You'll get up here to a dead dude, and there's your first grave lock. The second one you can actually see with the naked eye. It's on the rock there. And the third one is going to be way up at the top of that tower. So pretty much they are all really close together here. I think they're actually the closest of any of the ones on this map. Uh, once again, this one isn't really too bad, but you got to play hopscotch with slippery rocks. Jump up here halfway, pick up the grave lock. The other one is a lot more annoying because we have to run around many stairs, so I'll meet you at the top. Upon coming up the last set of stairs, turn to your left, you'll see a note on the ground that says I was here, and your third grave lock. For our next three grave locks, we will be going first to the Coast Guard hangar, then the Coast Guard station, and then a little building just behind the Coast Guard station. First up, if you see the Coast Guard helicopter, go past it to the small maintenance shed. Inside the maintenance shed on the shelf will be your grave lock. I can do For the Coast Guard station, simply go in the front door. This time you're going to actually go behind the main stairs, make a left, go down, and you'll notice the grave lock right here on the shelf in the back. For this last exceedingly difficultly annoying grave lock, it will be at the absolute highest point of the Burial Point Lighthouse. So once you've gone through the Coast Guard Center, up the stairs, there's a bridge that you can cross, go all the way up all of the stairs, then the ladder in the lighthouse, and you will notice the grave lock right here at the top. For our next six collectibles, we will be in the Brighton Bay area, with the very first one being just to the left of the Harbor Festival fast travel point. So when you fast travel, simply look over here towards the west, and you will see a small sailboat, and you can kind of see the glow of the grave lock from here. All you have to do is jump down and run over, pick up the grave lock. You're good. Next up is going to be our really annoying one because of these stupid statues that thanks to the devs make the exact same noise as the grave locks. But proceed to the center section of the Brighton Bay area. You'll want to come up this ladder right here. 
make your way over to these red planks where you can drop down carefully and then just to your right and forward will be the grave lock on the stone. It was a bedtime story. For our next collectible it is going to be just to the right of the coastal memoriam. If you follow that path around till you see this building you can jump up on the railing and then jump up on the patio heater jump up on this roof you'll see the open window which you can kind of like jump crouch it's a pain in the ass get through the window the gra grave lock will be right here on the poker table for our next collectible it will be at the cliffside marina simply come over here to the right to the boat that's by itself jump down and you will see the grave lock in a red paint blood symbol. For next collectible, it will be inside the keeper's house, which you will need to find a key for if you want to go through the front door. Simply go to the right, open the side door, go inside, you can open the main front door if you would like, and then you can find the collectible by going upstairs and looking in the small animal pet bed. For our last collectible for this zone, you'll be looking for this tiny little black spot that I'm standing on, pretty much directly left of the Brighton Bay safe house. You'll find a white boardwalk. Come to the end of the boardwalk, jump up on the railing, and then it's a little tricky, but kind of spam jump to get to the top. And you'll see to your left is a barrel right next to the water with the grave lock on top. For our next set of spots, we will be in Dire Cliff for a while. The first one located right here at my exact location, just north of the Brighton Bay safe house. You will see a Bladewell campground sign. If you come behind the sign, the grave lock is on the ground just behind it. It is almost impossible to hear due to the godforsaken statue that makes almost the exact same noise as the grave lock. Our next collectible is going to be located right where I'm standing, pretty much directly to the right from the Nathaniel Howell's prayer. You'll have to go up towards the campgrounds and loop around this giant rock several times. Simply follow the dirt path till you get to the top and you see this wooden structure with stairs. Go up and right in front of you at the feet of the annoying sound making thing will be your grave lock. Next up, we're going to go ahead and grab two more grave markers. This one is right next to the water. It's kind of a pain in the butt. The closest fast travel point would be Devil Mother's Range. And what you want to do is locate this small ship. Uh, you can go ahead and jump up on it. It's going to be kind of a jump spam because uh, the game wants to force you back. And then jump up once more where these yellow... Blah, whatever you want to call them handrails are eventually you'll get it the grave lock is right next to the yellow bars our next collectible is a lot easier actually it's over here on the coastline and um, again closest fast travel is devil mother's range simply look to the tidal wave find this bluish teal structure you can jump right up and the grave lock is right there for our next collectible, it's going to be pretty much right here where Flash's marker is. Ideally, you're going to want to come up from the coastline, follow this path up till you find the cave with bicycles out front, and then simply go into the cave. The grave lock will be at the very back of the cave on top of a small wooden crate. Our next couple collectibles are going to be pretty darn close together. So they're going to be up here in this camp the first one is going to be located in this large blue house you can jump up and then go up the ladder and the collectible will be pretty much right here on this windowsill you may have to jump a little bit closer to pick it up though from the collectible we just picked up if you look to the west you can see this small trailer and fence it's usually surrounded by poison, which does a lot of damage, but you can jump up onto the fence and then jump up onto the RV and pick up the grave lock, even without destroying the poison. I don't understand none of it. 
Our next collectible, we're going to be proceeding almost to where we go for the blood bag so that we can actually drop down here and then going across. One of us dead means trouble for the rest. I was going to down Stay close. from above, but uh, I do believe that fall will kill me. If you look right here on this rock, there is your grave lock. Our next two collectibles are going to be right here at the Bladewell Ranger Station. If you come through the window closest to the tower, there is a dead horse here in like a little cubicle. Then a locked door that you will have to lock pick and you can proceed to the downstairs area. Straight ahead on top of a board on top of a bell will be your first grave lock. And then if you simply backtrack the way that you just came... You can go out the window I mentioned at the beginning of the video and all the way up to the very top of this radio tower. I'll meet you there. Upon reaching the very, very top of the ranger station tower, look to the left and you will see the grave lock on the railing. There was more of us. Mama, Daddy. Our next three collectibles are going to be fairly close together and fairly easy. Right here in the bay, if you come and search when it's not foggy, pretty much next to this boardwalk, you'll see a dead whale with a hole in the side. Go into the dead whale, look to the left, and the grave lock is right there next to some candles. Our next objective is going to be in this little building. When you enter from the front, you can simply go into the kitchen inside one of the refrigerators is the grave lock 97 That's all, she all right for our next objective it's going to be right here in the bay the entrance is in this cave right next to a dead whale and some uv lights this is actually one needed for the side mission the lone unit uh there's some a ton of traps in here and a ton of gas in here it's honestly a super annoying area but uh, if you have the UV lights, it'll make it a lot easier to get through. There's also trip wires up here, but you can either avoid or detonate those trip wires. Um, it's probably easiest to actually climb up the ladder to get to this one. Relentless and absurd, but still. This one's just a pain in the ass to get. And there's our grave lock number 98. We are almost done. Our second to last grave lock. This is one that you probably will already have. It is in its own area, which is the Maritime Center. You're going to want to go behind the building and make your way to pretty much the topmost point. Um, it's actually fairly easy to do. And then jump up here and grab the grave lock. There was more of us. For our very last achievement unlocking collectible, it is going to be on this bridge, which technically is like in between three different zones. So I didn't include it with earlier zones because it really just kind of spans them all. But you can't miss it. It's this massive bridge right here. What you're going to want to do is climb up from any side. Just go to one of the little larger platforms and make your way up. You'll eventually get stuck on basically some paint. You have to jump over the paint and continue going up, at which point you will see the grave lock at the highest point in the very center. Just slowly make your way over to the dead body, pick up your grave lock. You get your nice little uh, backpack, and after a few seconds, there is your extremely rare Faith Healer achievement with a 0.01% unlock rate. Congratulations, you have all of the Grave Locks unlocked now if you have followed along with my video. In addition to having all of the collectibles, you now have a Tier 4 
automatically regenerate the first 25% of your ultimate power. So, all that work. Enjoy the very rare achievement. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a huge favor. Smash that like button. Go ahead and check out Flash's channel. Again, link in the description. Show him some love. Leave a like on his video as well. And maybe consider subscribing to the both of our channels for more content. I do believe we will be two of the very first people to have a complete guide posted. Till next time, my brothers and sisters of the Legion, stay frosty.